Hello, my name is Peter Brook. I welcome you to the European Young Innovators Festival 2021. You just saw a very interesting video and uh, people were talking about the remarkable experience you might have in Graz. That's not the case. Uh, the remarkable experience is that you sit at uh, in your home, at your office, in your study. I hope that uh, you all will be part of uh, a travel and a journey in uh, May, on the 3rd and on the 4th of May, when uh, there is the opportunity to meet in Graz. It will be springtime. The winter will be over. The pandemic might be re in recession. And uh, then we can have this kind of remarkable experience which people talked about in the trailer. The situation today is uh, a troublesome for many, especially for younger people. When you look at what came out of Glasgow in terms of uh, us, the global community, the international governments, the international multilateral bodies, what the experts and the activists have come up with, it's not too encouraging in terms of solving the climate crisis. It's not too encouraging on how to reduce our CO and uh, carbon uh, dioxide uh, footprint. It's not too encouraging in terms of what we have to do in terms of energy transition. And also, what are the new futures in terms of mobility in cities? What are the new ways in which we can assure that in 20, 30, and 40 years from now, we have arable lands and that we have enough good foodstuffs, bio foodstuffs, in order to feed everybody. And that's the reason why the European Young Innovators Festival is such an important initiative, an event, a process, an invitation, and a platform. It is because if we are not coming together and showing what we do with technology, in order to do it better, to solve issues, then uh, we might uh, not be able to step out of uh, business as usual and uh, the course uh, uh, things run and disruption might be only in order to create more global platforms to have more entertainment while the Titanic sinks. So what we are doing today is uh, we are having a whole journey focusing especially on what young innovators have been doing and submitting. And you will see that the range of stuff is amazing. Just look at the geographic range. Uh, there are people from Albania, from Austria, from Belgium, from Croatia. There are, you will see innovations from Denmark, Lithuania, Romania, Serbia, from Germany, Hungary, Ireland, as well as Northern Macedonia and Portugal. And you can see it's crisscrossing the continent. It's really unifying us in terms of the inspiration and the creativity. And it is also on various different aspects of this big cloth which we need to weave in order to solve, have a, let's say, a cushion and also something which catches us in our crisis. This is uh, the European Young Innovators Festival. When we start now, we will hear a number of uh, politicians, a number of people who are in power, who are, um, who are taking responsibility for governing our province in Styria, the federal government in Austria, and also on the European Union level. And let's start with the first one, with uh, the Austrian, the Styrian Minister for Economy, Tourism, Europe, and Science and Research. Barbara Eibinger Miedel has sent us a special video message for today. Let's have the tape, uh, videotape, please. Dear participants of the European Young Innovators Festival, ladies and gentlemen, as member of the Styrian government, I am very glad that Graz is again the venue for this festival and meeting point for young entrepreneurs. Styria is the perfect place for such a festival because we are a hub of research and knowledge. With a research and development quota of more than 5%, we are the most innovative region here in Austria and we are also among the innovation leaders in the European Union. I am convinced that only innovations and new technologies 
will be the key for a successful and livable future. So the young social entrepreneurs are exactly the people we need. I would also like to thank the entire organization team for their work and that they made this festival possible. I'm sure that only together we will find the answers for the big questions of our time. So I wish you a successful festival and interesting discussions. Barbara Eibinger Miedl is uh, looking at the European Young Innovators Festival from the point of view of innovation. And uh, she knows that unless a province, a city, a kind of ecosystem is concerned about how young people can have a real perspective in terms of setting out their own projects, setting out with their own ideas, with their own concerns, with their own skills, and starting up also new projects, new companies and new organizations, then the entire situation will not get better. What is interesting about the Young Innovators Festival, though, is not just the celebration and also the encouragement for people who are young and who are entrepreneurial, but also because we have a global perspective. And one of the things which make the World Summit Award so important is because it looks to link everything which is done on the innovation side to the global agenda of the Sustainable Development Goals. And as you, many of you know, it's uh, 15 years now that uh, this entire process has started, first with the Millennium Development Goals, and in 2015 then with the Sustainable Development Goals, and it reaches out until 2030. And how does it reach out? Because there are measures, and these measures are 17 sustainable development goals, which we are looking at in terms of measuring the change. Measuring, do we do enough to eliminate extreme poverty? Do we do enough to secure the foodstuffs? Do we do enough in order to reduce maternity issues and fatalities? Do we do enough in terms of health and education and so on? In Austria, we have for the last two years a new government and uh, there's a new minister. And the minister is actually a really very, very interesting person because she comes from the activism side. She comes from Global 2000 and she comes and she took office with a ministry which is really unique. It is a ministry for climate action for environment, for energy, mobility, innovation, and technology. So let's hear what Leonore Gewessler has to say to the Young Innovators Festival. Let's have the tape, please. Ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, and a special welcome to the European Young Innovators 2021. I want to thank you for the invitation to welcome you to today's conference. Only a few weeks ago, at the World Climate Conference COP26 in Glasgow, we were able to discuss and work on our common future in a better and more sustainable environment. The climate crisis is more present than ever before in Austria and globally. It is time to bring the Paris Climate Agreement to life and to really fundamentally start acting. To fight the climate crisis, we need to take action in every possible way. Living in an ever more digitalized and connected world, with automated devices and algorithms influencing our daily lives in one way or another, we need to start using these connecting processes for our own cause, the climate cause as well. This is why my ministry covers a wide range of interconnected topics, policy fields, from climate action and protection, energy, mobility, to innovation and technology. Through the connection of these different policy fields, we can create greater impact to achieve Austria's goal to become climate neutral by the year 2040. I'm confident this year's European Young Innovators will teach us, once again, that digitalization can contribute to a more sustainable future. They show us how to turn the digital revolution into climate action. They show us how digital transformation can be shaped to ensure it supports transitions towards more sustainable societies and towards the achievement of the UN SDGs. What it takes is inventiveness and courage to walk off the beaten track, qualities also decision makers sometimes need to be reminded of. It is wonderful to know that each year 
the European Young Innovators Meetup, Exchanging Ideas and Knowledge, Calling for Action. Conferences like this provide a special opportunity where cutting-edge knowledge from all over the world is pooled and shared, where new networks are created and innovative ideas are born. I hope that the second phase of this festival can take place in Graz in person, bringing together young, purpose-driven entrepreneurs from all across Europe. With these bright, courageous, creative young talents, we will be able to tackle our common challenges with new ideas. We simply cannot miss any opportunity, not just as an economy, but as a society. Investing in today's youth is our future tomorrow. If you hear a minister talk like this, um, I think uh, everybody else can feel a little bit better, a little bit more optimistic, and a little bit more determined to contribute and also to get involved. And I think that's something which is really important to get involved and also to connect. The transformation is something which is a topic uh, which uh, the Austrian government is addressing on many different kind of levels. And uh, in order to transform, you need also the kind of financing. The Minister for Finance in Austria is Gernot Blümel, and he has also a message for us. So let's have that tape as well, please. Dear Young Innovators, welcome to the European Young Innovators Award 2021. It is great to see an award like this that is encouraging young people to find smart solutions for society's problems and uh, to achieve the SDGs in the end. I have always taken great interest in supporting initiatives like these as it is your creativity and innovation uh, that keeps the European economy growing in the future. Especially uh, since the start of the pandemic, the digital innovation has been key to many important adaptations and progress in our economy. The European Recovery Fund has therefore chosen to set up a special focus in this area and Austria has surpassed European targets by determining more than 40% of the RRF money for Austria into this area. And decision makers, they are, in the end of the day, lonely people because they are sitting on top and they need to hear from the bottom. They need to see what is really interesting, what is innovative. I congratulate all of you, the creative minds who are now winners of the WSA European Young Innovators Award. Thank you for all the digital innovations you submitted. It is impressive to see the vast variety of applications that are being honored. Some improve the quality of education or foster CO2 reduction in unexpected ways. Others reduce inequalities and encourage the disadvantaged or raise awareness for violence against women. That wide range of ideas is inspiring indeed. Thank you for caring about these important topics. Your solutions are valuable contributions to making the world a better place. Take care. So this was Alexander van der Bellen. Uh, he is an economist. Uh, he is a university professor or was a university professor, but he then became also very much involved in Activism, activism and also into in politics and uh, when he ran for his presidency uh, in Austria it was a very very tight race it was hardly 50 percent of Austrians who voted in the first round for him but what it came to was that people started realizing that uh, if you have persons of integrity and also of innovation that they can have then a very, very great impact in society. And I think that today there are 80% of Austrians who are very, very proud of having him. Why is this important for us? Because it shows that none of the transformations is free of struggle. None of these transformations is free of doubts. None of the transformations which we are working on is free of failure. Failure, doubts and struggle are part of what we need to do. 
That's the reason why the Young Innovators Festival is a platform. It is a way of how to connect with each other and how to find out in the way Alexander van der Bellen said, surprising ways of how to connect, of how to support and how to enrich what we do. All of what we do is motivated by the insight which goes back 40, 45 years that the computers will transform our society. The notion of the information society is a notion which goes back to the late 60s. In 1969, there is a report to the French president Giscard d'Estaing which looked at the computerization of society. And from then on, people have talked about various different kind of technologies, various different kind of instances in terms of what this transformation means. And we will talk later on also of how the merging of biology and the computer, of the silicon chip, as well as the ways in which we can change biological processes might change things, and also of how things might really have then to do with getting more people involved and also having a social transformation and working from this. So how to connect on the one hand, digitization to the body, and on the other hand, how to connect digitization to the transformation of our communities. But before we go into this, which will start then uh, at uh, 1030, we will have a message from the European Commission and from the commissioner who is in charge and looks at making Europe fit for the digital age. It's Margarete Vestager, she's from Denmark, and let's have the tape from her, please. Dear Young Innovators, I'm very happy to be with you at this year's European Young Innovators Festival. All of you in this room, well, you have something in common, an innovation mind. Innovation is the answer. And that is why we are, are investing in innovation. Over the years, the Commission has put in place programs and policies to give Europe's innovators, you, the means that you need in order to take your ideas to the market and to give those ideas a chance to become a solid business, both at home and worldwide. Innovation starts early, way before the first prototypes are even developed. It starts with giving you the skills, education needed to develop future ideas. And it's especially true for digital skills, which has become central in almost all innovations today. And that is why we work to reach a double target. We want 80% of all adults to have basic digital skills by 2030 and 20 million ICT specialists and of course more women taking the jobs. We also expanded the Erasmus Plus program with a digital opportunity traineeship. It will allow young people to develop specialized digital skills through work placements. Once innovative ideas and projects exist, we also have a role to play to make them thrive. And this is typical for a program like Horizon Europe. With this 95.5 billion budget for research and innovation, the greatest ideas can find the way from the lab to the shop shelves. And it happens that sometimes the technologies that most need funding, like game-changing solutions to fight climate change, for instance, they are too risky for private investors alone. And for this, we created the European Innovation Council. The idea is to create a pull factor. We put the first coins on the table so that private investors can then join the table. Already in the three years that the pilot has been running, this European Innovation Council has supported more than five and a half, half thousand businesses. And for every euro it has invested in these companies, private follow-up investment have added three more. I encourage those of you to set the path of tech-driven entrepreneurship to consider the European Innovation Council as one potential source of finance. Finally, it takes courage to believe in your ideas and to launch your own business. We want to do all we can to ensure that the most promising and strategic startups stay and flourish in Europe. And this is why we launched the European Startup Nation Standard a set of the best practices to support entrepreneurs all along your journey. 
and accelerate the growth of startups and innovative small and medium-sized companies with all the conditions to scale to be even bigger. Dear all, as some of you may know, 2020 will be the European Year of Youth. This means that all, all across the board, in the European Parliament, Member States, regional and local authorities, we will encourage all young people, especially those, of course, in difficult situations, those from rural or remote areas, to become active citizens of the world that you live in. Because we need you. We need your vision, engagement and participation to build a better future. One that's greener, more connected and above all, one where everyone feels at home. I wish you a lot of success in your great adventures. Thank you. So this was Margarete Vestager. She is the European Commissioner for uh, Europe Fit, making Europe fit for the digital age. And as you heard, she has a really all-encompassing view. When she look, looks at things, what ne needs to be done in the lab in order to reach what she called the shelves. What is interesting about uh, the Young Innovators Festival is that we are connected to this kind of agenda through a program which looks at how citizens, how rights, how equality and how European values can be promoted. Citizenship in terms of uh, participation, how rights in terms of an understanding and also linking them to the obligations, not just in terms of entitlement, and equality in terms of the social justice uh, dimension and values in terms of our European identity. This day, today's program is actually dedicated to this. We will look at this from various different kind of perspectives. When we come back in five minutes or three minutes from now, we will look at it uh, on the topic of it's the end of the world as we want it. And we look at the conversations of, uh, with uh, Ilana Otto and Alex Carsons. At uh, 12.30, we will have a completely different kind of perspective. We look at health entrepreneurship through the gender prism. And you will have a panel of women talking about health technology and how this is gendered and how they are working with the genderedness of technology, of the social relationships built in the, into technology and also of the environment. The highlight today, however, is at two o'clock, 14 o'clock uh, Central European time in terms of the innovation pitches by the 15 young in European innovators. And I'm very happy that Abdul Al Ashraf will moderate this and look forward to a really intense and fun experience. And we will have 14 jurors looking at those pitches as well. And then we will close at uh, 15 minutes past four with a discussion on European solidarity and also the Green Deal and how we get into a fitness for the digital age not fit in terms of just the power, but also in terms of the transmission, in terms of making real change. So please stay tuned, stay involved and connect. And please mark, mark May 3rd and 4th in your calendar, because then we will have this remarkable experience in Graz. Thank you very much and see you shortly. <music>